In this video, I'll introduce several mods that can make your Skyrim experience even more fantastic. First, let's look at some landscape-related mods, starting with Fantasy Cities, Seal of Time. This mod adds a floating landmark called the Seal of Time, ensuring that it remains visible from anywhere, allowing you to admire it from afar. These elements make Tamriel feel more grand and fantastic, enhancing your interest in the game. Unlike most Village Edition mods, it has almost no frame rate drop, making it a small but significant improvement to your Skyrim experience. Next up is Fantasy Cities, Cross of Lake Illinalta. This mod adds a gigantic cross to Lake Illinalta, which is visible from anywhere and maintains the appearance of flowing waterfalls. You can admire this enormous cross from the Whiterun Plains, sparking curiosity about the location and encouraging players to experience the unique scenery. This mod makes Skyrim even more fantastic by offering a distinctive landscape. Next up is Fantasy Cities, Cubes of Magnus. This mod adds rotating magical cubes above the College of Winterhold. Like the previously mentioned mods, these cubes are visible from a distance and are quite frame-friendly. Additionally, they are compatible with mods that expand Winterhold and are always loaded without the need to run Dindelot, making it convenient to enhance the visual enjoyment with the cube landscape. In this segment, we'll be introducing some fantastic mods related to buildings. First up is Dracula's Castle. This mod adds a massive castle inspired by Castlevania near the Solitude Docks. The castle is so grand and imposing that it can be admired from a distance and even from within the town of Solitude. The interior is structured like a dungeon, where you'll have to fight bats, mist monsters, controlled minions, and various forms of undead. The enemies in the castle will keep respawning until you kill the Count. Once you conquer the castle, you can use it as a player home. It also includes custom music, featuring Castlevania songs and horror movie themes. I think Serana might really enjoy visiting this place with you. Next up is Melandriel. This mod adds a small part of Valenwood near Cradle Crush Rock, introducing a unique wood elf village and player home built in the architectural style of Valenwood, offering a fantastic new experience to the game. With this mod, you can admire houses harmoniously integrated with giant trees, featuring unique wood elf style interiors. The village includes three hunters, an archery trainer, an alchemy trainer, and various friendly animals. Additionally, you can enjoy a beautiful wooden terrace overlooking East March, making Skyrim even more enchanting. The mod I'm introducing this time is called Itzy Tower. This mod provides a small house located on top of a giant mud crab in the volcanic hot springs near Elder Gleam Sanctuary. The house is equipped with various decorations, storage spaces, and crafting stations. The design is quite unique with the house perched on a giant mud crab, which is a rather ingenious idea. Inside, the house features a well-lit living room, a small kitchen, an alchemy corner. Additionally, there are two mannequins and weapon racks for displaying your weapons. The balcony includes a workbench, anvil, and tanning rack, as well as a hammock for relaxation, making your Skyrim experience even more fantastic. Next up is Tel Avius. This mod adds a Telvanni-style tower located west of Whiterun in the Lone Mountain. The tower is visible from a distance, making it even more appealing. The buildings in this area are multi-leveled, enhancing the immersive gameplay experience. Not only does it include spaces for growing plants, but it also boasts a visually stunning and unique design. This mod enriches and fantastically enhances your adventures in Skyrim. Next up is the Floating Island of Legends. This mod adds a floating island to Skyrim, which appears above the plains of Whiterun Hold, west of Fort Greymoor. While the surface of the island might seem a bit plain, adding a floating island to the tundra region of Skyrim is a great choice. This mod features a floating rock that rises from below rather than just a surface island. It's an experience you can't have in reality, and its location in the Whiterun tundra means you'll frequently encounter it sparking your sense of adventure. In this segment, we will introduce new land mods, 
First up is Shadow of Merith. Shadow of Merith adds several new regions to Skyrim, each filled with diverse locations and challenging enemies. These areas are designed to provide a fresh experience beyond the usual Skyrim landscape. One of the standout features of this mod is the addition of powerful bosses. You'll encounter these formidable foes in various regions, often through Oblivion Gates. The battles are designed to be challenging and rewarding, so get ready for some intense combat. Immersion is key in Shadow of Merith. The mod includes fully voiced NPCs, which really brings the new areas and characters to life. The quality of the voice acting is top-notch, making the storytelling even more engaging. Speaking of quality, the attack animations, effects, and overall quality of the actors are exceptional. The combat feels more dynamic and engaging, almost like you're playing a different action game. It's a fantastic addition to the Skyrim experience. So, if you're looking for a mod that adds depth, challenge, and new content to your Skyrim adventure, Shadow of Merith is definitely worth checking out. Next up is Elden Root, a tale of Valinwood. This mod allows you to explore a new region in Skyrim, Valinwood, centered around the city of Elden Root and its surrounding vast forests. The city of Elden Root is a marvel of architecture, with towering tree-based structures that blend seamlessly with the natural environment. The mod introduces a variety of new enemies and animals, each designed with the unique aesthetics of Valinwood in mind. You'll encounter fierce forest creatures, mystical beings, and formidable foes that add depth and challenge to your adventures. The environment of Valinwood is a stark contrast to the cold, harsh landscapes of Skyrim. You'll find yourself immersed in lush, vibrant forests filled with the sounds of nature. The majestic trees, some of which are large enough to house entire communities, create a sense of awe and wonder. The sounds of frogs croaking and water flowing add to the immersive experience, making you feel truly connected to this new world. Exploring Valinwood will take you to various unique locations, each with its own story and secrets to uncover. From ancient ruins hidden deep within the forest to bustling marketplaces in Elden Root, there's always something new to discover. Thank you for watching our video on the best mods to make Skyrim truly fantastic. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Let us know in the comments which mods you're excited to try, and if there's anything else you'd like to see in the future. Happy modding, and we'll see you in the next one.